And if you're planning a wedding, you definitely don't want to miss this. We've got the inside scoop on how you can have the best wedding reception ever. HGTV 5's More in the Morning Saturday. We'll be right back. All right, thank you, Julie. Wedding season is also fast approaching, and if you're planning that special day, it can be daunting. But today, we are going to ease your anxiety by helping you plan your wedding reception. And now is the time to go grab a pen and paper because you have tons of advice. Peter Mary also just wrote a book. It's called The Best Wedding Reception Ever. And a great appropriate name, by the way, Peter Mary. <laughs> it's not made up. That's your real last That's name. That's my real name. All right, talk about the wedding reception. What makes a great wedding reception. How do you work with the bride and groom? Well, what really makes a difference that I've seen over the years is finding ways to make the entertainment personalized to them so that when the guests are there, they have a great experience and not just a great set, not just a great decor, but really an experience that makes the guests kind of go, wow, that was really fun and that felt like their celebration. Well, how do you prioritize? Because that's a big thing. Do you spend all your money on entertainment or do you spend all your money on the food or can you get both really on a budget? Absolutely, you can get both. It's really just about identifying what's most important to you. I've seen couples who wanted the best flowers in the world and they spent $20,000. Mm -hmm. I've seen brides who spent $10,000 on a Vera Wang dress. Uh, but you, if you prioritize where you're going to spend the money and what's most important to you, you can get the best things you want in those areas and then take care of the rest of your budget from there and actually work a tighter budget from there. You mentioned 28000 is now the national average for putting on a wedding and that includes the wedding reception. Yes, and the ceremony all together. 28000 is the national average. Do you have a budget as to, okay, how much should the wedding or how much should the uh, reception cost, how much should the entertainment and the food cost each? It, it varies from place to place and, and your location may play a role in that, your catering may mm -hmm. play a role in that, but what I tell brides and grooms to think about when they're choosing, uh, like for instance, their entertainment is think about how important that's going to be to creating the moments you want. And would 10%, 15% of your budget be a fair amount? I don't know. It depends on that couple and what's most important to them. How do you personalize your wedding? <laughs> There's how so do you make it so <laughs> memorable? There's so many ways you can do it, but I'll give you one example. If you've ever been a guest at a wedding where they did a grand entrance, when they introduce the wedding party, a lot of times we just get their name. And as a guest, you're watching and you still don't know who those people are. But if those people are introduced and then the master of ceremonies tells the guests a little something about them, who they are to you, maybe what their hobbies or their uh, occupation is, really what it does is it connects the audience even more to what's happening and they feel more involved and now they know those people. Okay. Any other advice um, in terms of the entertainment? I mean, do you put all your money in that entertainment part, or it really just depends on the couple? It, it does depend on the couple, but really what it comes down to is recognizing that there's different levels of talent and entertainment out there. Just like with musicians and DJs, you're going to find amateur hobbyists, you're going to find uh, part-time semi-professionals, and you're going to find full-time professionals. And they're all going to be priced accordingly, and they're all going to have various levels of talent and skill. So take your time and, and shop accordingly. And Peter Mary, you are going to be signing your new book yes. about how to put on the perfect wedding reception. Today at 10, you're going to be at the Starbucks at 119th Street, Overland Park, Kansas. All right, thank you, Peter, so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Some good advice. And Matt, back to you. Thank you, Saray. Definitely some good advice there for your wedding reception.